what's going on guys welcome back we're finally here it's sunday again attack on titan is back in the mix i am ready i can't tell you i'm excited to see what happens next Eren, Eren has decided to kill everybody <laughs> this man just transformed in a building with all these people in it right so let me address my mistakes from last week i did put a pinned post on my last reaction just in case you guys did not see it i corrected myself because for some reason i was out here calling yuri king fritz okay um i think the reason why i was getting that confused is not necessarily because of the the kingship is more of like what he was talking about with kenny a lot of that conversation does coincide with what willie was talking about it, it, it just the context of it it's nothing like he was saying the exact same thing by any means it's not what i'm trying to say it's just some of the thing it puts into perspective some things that yuri was saying back in that conversation if you want to go check that conversation back out of course go ahead and check that out if you have not because you guys probably know so much more about this series than i do um that was back in season three okay so or was it it was season two or season three i think it was season two i want to say season two <laughs> season two that we saw that conversation uh, it could be season three too i don't remember when that flashback happened i just do not remember when exactly but that's what was confusing him with his name is yuri not king fritz um but from the understanding of what's been going on i did go back and i checked out the con the, the what willie was saying in the manga the manga provides a lot more context not that you didn't get the gist of what he was saying during the anime but in the manga it's the only thing i saw okay i did not go any further um past Aaron, you know coming up out of the building like because that's how the chapter ended anyways that's how the chapter ended it's the same name of the chapter everything that de declaration of war that's how the chapter ended with Aaron basically take taking out willie right same way so i did not read another chapter because i do want to complete the anime i know of course you know that the, the manga is going to provide more extra but one of the things that really interested me is like um in the manga that he talked about was the names of the walls in paradise was named off after his three daughters which he didn't say at all I mean, I guess it's something that's not that interesting, I guess, I, that they just decided to cut that out of the speech. But there's a lot more context. It's a lot more extended, expound upon by Willie um, that gave you a better understanding of what happened, in my opinion. Um, you know what I'm saying? I think they really just wanted to get to... to you know Aaron busting out of the building at the end of the episode so they didn't so some of the the thing the the things that was said that they deemed unnecessary they just threw it out and be like oh if people wanted want to hear the whole speech they can go read the manga um so I decided to go and read that chapter in the manga okay and just just to get a concept of what he said you know what i'm saying and to just kind of see it with reading eyes you know what i'm saying um because it's um there's a lot that he said that wasn't said in the anime let me just say that so if you want you can go check it out for yourself i highly recommend you go check it out for yourself for that matter um if you have not if you're just an anime person and you've never read the manga go and check out willie's speech in the manga it's really eye-opening if you didn't i'm not saying that the anime did not capture it good or they left out a chunk that was necessary i'm just saying it's just a better excerpt in the manga okay they explained a lot better and uh, go over a lot more stuff so the the thousands or millions that he said of titans that are in the walls colossal 
giant size. Um, also brought back some memories for me too with um, what um, what's his name again? The priest. What's his name again? Pastor Nick. <laughs> pastor nick from back in the day man that was i remember when he said i don't even remember what episode i think it's in season two, like the beginning of season two when hanji had him over the wall and he was like no matter what you do i think it was like he said at one point it's like no matter what you do don't let any sunlight touch that titan and we were all wondering at that time why is there titans in the walls now we know why titans are in the walls right um crazy 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 stuff they don't even know that this whole time titans were literally protecting them they they, they but the thing about it is that these titans were basically made they can be controlled but you need the founding titans power to control them so if Eren doesn't learn how to use the Founding Titan power, which it doesn't seem like he can use it, it seems like only those with royal blood can use it. Um, we'll see. We'll see. So I'm just talking about some interesting stuff that, you know, just from thinking back on some of the stuff that was talked about and discussed in past episodes, how it relate to the speech, speech in, in some way. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I just think it was an interesting bit to learn that King Fritz named the wall after his three daughters, which is, um, you know, I guess it was, it's not a big deal, I guess. So, but anyways, let's get to the episode. I'm dying to see this. Let's go, Aaron. Let's kill all our enemies. <laughs> Guys, let me tell y'all something, man. I have to go back and watch that episode again. I have to. I have to watch that episode. The first rewatch. First rewatch of the season for me. I have to go back and watch it as soon as I finish um, rendering out these videos for y'all. That was a crazy episode. That was a crazy episode. Animation was not too bad. You know what I'm saying? Like... I know they're using a lot of CG, a lot of CG. Um, it seems like that what that's what Mappa does. I don't know why they're using so much CG. It's not bad looking CG, don't get me wrong. Um, so let me talk about the only gripe I have with what happened in this episode. The only gripe I had with, um, with what was taking place, not necessarily with the action or anything like that, is Mikasa's new design. I'm not feeling it. I'm not <laughs> I'm not feeling the short here. The short here nah. No. <laughs> like Mikasa needs to look like Mikasa. Give her back her toy. I know it's probably the same thing in the manga. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But regardless, that's the only gripe. And it's not really a, a big deal. You know what I'm saying? I, I guess maybe over time I'll get used to it. Um you know some of you guys out there might like it i don't like it because i always like liked her as a character love her as a character yeah you know i'm saying um she came in and i was like yes yes come on ah oh, man aaron is out you know what let me leave him for last let me leave him for last of what he did all right so we started off i think in chapter 100 the one Ma the one manga chapter that I've ever read of, <laughs> of Attack on Titan because I really want to get get uh, a concept. I think that conversation happened um, during the chapter, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so they knew that Eren them was there. They said all this time we've been trying to keep tabs on them over in Paradise when they were crossing the sea and and doing all of this. You know what I'm saying? And we failed to protect our home and now they're here. So they planned this thing, this entire thing, the festival, everything. This was all just to pull out Aaron them and give them a, 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 a reason to come out of the shadows, you know? Um, so this was all planned by Willie and McGrath, or McGrath, 
Magoth or whatever his name is, right? So they knew. So Willie knew he was going to die. He knew he was going to die because he was he was like, I'm going to stand center stage. So more than likely, I'm going to be the first to go because I'm going to be right there doing this speech or whatever. Um, <clears throat> so he knew about it. So fast forward now to peak peak or whatever her name is, um, you know, cart Titan girl. Um, I was wondering in the last episode, what she said to them. I thought she probably just whispered something in their ear. You know what I'm saying? They're feeling giddy cause you know, she hugged him or whatever. I thought that was the situation, but it wasn't that if she, she basically left a secret message with them. So that day is like, I don't trust this dude that's leading us out here. Follow us. That's how they happen to get out now. All right. So we got Aaron coming out, finish, you know, gobbling down Willie, you know, um, I mean, everybody else came because you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He came out. Warhammer Titan came out. Um, I didn't even take notice that, you know what I'm saying, that he was, that, that the, the Warhammer Titan was forming from the feet up. You get what I'm saying? Like, I didn't even take notice of that until he actually said it. I was like, ah, okay, ha ha, ha, ha. you know what I'm saying, light bulb moment there for me. Thank you for explaining that. So it explained why. So he can... I wonder now if all Titans can do that or that it's just a Warhammer Titan thing. You know what I'm saying? Like you can operate independent of actually being inside the Titan. You know what I'm saying? I'm wondering if that's something that only the Warhammer can do because he can use basically hardening to kind of do anything they want. But it, but in terms of that, I don't think it is like that because when Aaron pulled it out, you know, from the the hardening case that she's in, when Aaron when Aaron pulled it out, I saw blood. So there's got to be some a blood connection there. So I, I don't know. Maybe it is something that all Titans Titan shifters can do, or maybe not. You get what I'm saying? Um, I'm not gonna put too much hope on everybody can do that kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? Because if all of them could do that, they probably all would do it. You know what I'm saying? To be honest. Um, so maybe that's just unique to the Warhammer Titan because of his abilities, right? So let's keep it that way. So Mikasa came in, they've up, they have upgraded weapons. They got guns now. They got grapple hooks. You know what I'm saying? They got all types of stuff now and they are tearing this city apart. And Mikasa is like, do you know what you've done? But the thing about it is that Aaron is looking at this from the perspective of, they wanted war this is what they wanted you know what i'm saying i know he's not saying much because i think in some ways he kind of regrets doing it but we but in terms of what he's been saying and telling reiner i'm the same as you you know what i'm saying i'm the same as you bro so i gotta do what i gotta do now just like how you had to do what you had to do and you end up killing my moms now we gotta you know what i'm saying now i'm here on your turf and i'm doing the same thing so now you can feel how I feel. Now, I'm not saying I agree with Aaron's method as in, you know, going out here, you know, eye for an eye kind of thing. But don't get me wrong. There's, it's hype. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's hype. I am happy because I'm going to tell you guys why I'm so happy for them doing this. I don't rejoice when people die. It's not that. It's the fact that they have been oppressed by these ever since, even before that, even before Reiner and them showed up, right, and kicked in the wall. You know what I'm saying? They have been living this kind of, kind of this this weird kind of life where they thought they were secured, and then Reiner and them just came and just bust everything down. They they put the world, the island of paradise. Um, in a world of torment continuously right for the whole time and then and they finally started to find out some things about what was happening and it's just for me I'm just happy because I'm always rooting 
for Aaron, Levi, them because they have been through so much. How many people were killed, man? Wasn't it like over like a hundred thousand people were killed in that four year span? What they said at the end of season three, the amount of scouts that's and people that were still dying like it was nuts, you know what I'm saying? Because of what Reiner and, and, and you know, Bert Holt and Annie did. And now we come, you know, we want to say a couple hundred people die. You know what I'm saying? And you know what I'm saying? I know you're not supposed to rejoice when people die, but damn, do I feel good that they can let out, <laughs> that they can get a little bit of revenge. I'm not going to lie. Like, I feel good that they can get a little bit of revenge on these people because they've been tormenting them by ki They kill Irwin, man. They kill Irwin, bro. Like, like. Erwin, just as a person, as a character on this show, is worth a million of them Marlians or, or or the aliens that live over there. Just the, you know what I'm saying? I know, you know, Erwin was an alien too, because everybody on the island is an alien, right? Except for um, Mikasa and Levi. They're the only two that are not aliens. They're, you know, they're they're Ackermans, but they're not aliens. Like they can't. I think they can't, like, they're like, they can't be Titan Shifters, you know what I'm saying? Unless I'm wrong about that and you guys can correct me, I don't think that they are, because I think they're a different race that was like, they, they come with these special skills, that's why they're so good at, you know, with the, the 3D maneuvering gear and stuff like that, like, they were the protectors of the freaking Eldian kings and, sh like, that's, at least that's what, I, you know what I'm saying, like, that's what I've heard or people has told me while I was reacting to the show. Like, the, the Ackermans are like the shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know how true that is. I'm just repeating what I've, people have wrote in my comment section over the years. Um, well, not over the years, but while I was reacting to the show. So, um, so it, and there's information about them too. Because it's like, the Ackermans are like they're kind of feared in some ways not just because they cut up the beast titan and you know they're having nightmares about them you know um they are just in this episode man i just want to say bro aaron hats off to you bro i just want to say that i know a lot of people is not going to be saying the things that i'm saying i know a lot of people is gonna be like oh my god why is he doing this you know but for me it's just like I look at it that this is retribution. It's retribution. I see that I, they're so brainwashed. Do they deserve to die? No. But I'm happy to see it happen. <laughs> Just, I'm, listen, I don't know none of these people, man. <laughs> listen, man. Um, I have conflicting feelings right now. Don't don't quote me on anything. But Jaw Titan tried to take out Aaron, tried to eat him from his nape and the man of the hour, the beast from the east the man himself, Captain Levi came through and cut his jaw right before showed up the man, the myth, the legend man, came in just in time with the clutch, I was happy to see him and I also noticed that he is the only one wearing the freedom cape bro he's the only one wearing the free the, the, the green cape you know what i'm saying um that was crazy that was a nice little touch there you know what i'm saying to let him come in on with the green cape you know what i mean oh, man this episode was so damn good bro there's so much to talk about because it's just like how is aaron going to eat him can he, can he actually eat through the art hardening? That's another question, too. Can he eat through that hardening? Because you got to get her out. Crack, cause, I mean, they've been trying to get Annie out of that thing for years now. They've been trying to get her out. And they can't crack it. So maybe he can eat it? Maybe. maybe. I don't know. But all I know is that the Jaw Titan finally meets levi and you know what i'm saying he's heard the stories you know what i'm saying because he he heard you know what i'm saying beast beast you know what i'm saying zeke told him 
he's like yo there's a man <laughs> that don't play no games you know what i'm saying like i escape by the skin of my teeth if peak or car titan wasn't there they would have the beast titan power right now i ain't even gonna lie to you bro <laughs> you know what i'm saying um so he's heard the stories that's why it's like these are the demons of paradise you better understand because oh man this episode was it was too good bro i haven't been this excited over anime as i said before in a very long time like this excited pumped up jump out of my seat want to see the action bro the the way how this was done was very well done and as i said they use a lot of cg but at the same time it's not bad cg it's passable it's not little guys you guys know this is not as good as wit studio let's just be honest it's just not as good it's it's okay it's 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 good enough for me it's not high q season four you know part two like it, it's not <laughs> you know what i'm saying like it's not the quality is still there it's just a lot more in my opinion like it in some ways the animation you know i'm not saying it couldn't be better because i think wit studio would have knocked this out of the park um because they're just that good they are just that good have you seen what wit studio has done man with attack on titan and vinland saga last year like bro they 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 knocked it out of the park man um was it last year that no it wasn't last year right it was 2019 no it wasn't 2019 for vinland saga i think it was early i don't remember when i did vinland saga okay all i know is i did it when it aired i think it was late 2019 if i'm not mistaken um but man what an incredible episode guys i can't wait for next week again i am going to go rewatch this episode see if there's anything that i missed but man and for Aaron, i mean he's had practice so it's not so far-fetched to think that he could just transform again like that um you know because usually there's like in a way a waiting period but he was able to go back into his titan form like literally immediately from getting out of that that one so i mean we've never seen him do that before like transform like literally right after he transformed like i don't i think everything that happened there happened in less than five minutes so he was able to transform again was able to disconnect the war titan the, the warhammer titan and jaw titan was about to come in but not today he's like what happened to my jaw levi came through blur he accurate <laughs> you know what i'm saying but anyways man i don't think i've been this excited for a long time for anime and i think man at the end of the day considering everything once this story ends it's it's definitely gonna be in my top five no doubt it's already in my top five it's already in my top five right now but when it's finished is it gonna be in that number one spot you know what i'm saying is it gonna really take i think it will end up in that number one spot for me um you know i really do think it's gonna end up in that number one spot for me and we're not we're not done yet but it, it still depends but i think it is going to end up in that number one spot but in any case guys i appreciate y'all hopefully you guys enjoyed the reaction man i was pumped i didn't expect this much action <laughs> like i thought it was just gonna be you know warhammer titan because we learned the title of the episode i thought it was just gonna be Aaron versus warhammer titan didn't even wait for him to transform properly Aaron was on him i was like yes this is what we want to see man i'm tired of an anime people waiting on people to transform to get down and busy you know what i'm saying Aaron didn't waste any time he's like you transforming i'm on you you, <laughs> you gonna catch these hands you know what i'm saying you know what i mean it's like try jesus don't try me because i throw hands <laughs> you know what I'm saying? oh my god that was amazing thank you guys so much for tuning in man i've said that like five times already in that it just everything just keeps repeating in my mind um it's gonna be a problem though because 
you know, Jaw Titan is there. Car Titan is going to get gear so they so she can enter the fight. Out of, Zeke is probably on his way back from whatever wherever they sent him or wherever he's probably on his way back. So um, I don't know what's going on. Why haven't we seen Reiner? I mean, the, you know, Gabby is out here trying to get herself killed too i forgot to talk about her because she out here trying to get herself get on by let me go bro it's titan fightings titans are fighting this ain't this ain't you know incompetent soldiers that you know what i'm saying one little misstep and you could get stomped on and die like it's this is not like what you did in like the first episode of the series like you know what i'm saying incompetent soldiers that can't hit hit nothing with a machine gun you know what i'm saying crazy crazy but anyways um i don't want to see any more of the kids die like i think zofia's death was very i didn't expect that that was you know what i'm saying zofia so it seems like um gabby's okay um we don't i don't know if if falco is okay um he should be because reiner did try to protect him so I, i'm i'm gonna say that falco is okay but in any case i don't want to spread this video anymore i've been talking for 20 minutes bruh nutty best episode of the se of the season hands down best episode of the season no doubt about it it was well done shout out to mappa they did an excellent job mind you cg but still an excellent job they kept me in it kept me excited nonetheless because sometimes animation can throw you off <laughs> when you're watching something but they did an excellent job of fooling me in it was well done dialogue was pretty good it was not a lot of dialogue but when we did get it it was delivered the voice actors did their job man the ost was clean ost was clean okay everybody is back i didn't see i didn't see john john i think it was john that was talking to the new guy if i'm not mistaken because they give all them new hairstyles and stuff sasha's still a babe you know what i'm saying potato girl always there i didn't like that connie didn't still have his his um his signature ball head but that's okay he got here now it's all good but anyways guys thank you guys so much appreciate y'all i promise i'm gonna end it now leave a like leave a comment and i will catch you guys later man peace